Whenever me and you try to run Free Fire on our 2GB RAM PC using an emulator, either the emulator gets stuck at 98% or we encounter a download failed retry error. And if, by chance, Free Fire gets installed, it lags heavily. These three problems are faced by almost all emulator users. In fact, I've faced them a lot in the past too. That's why in today's video, I will provide you with an emulator that serves as an all-in-one solution to these problems. And the best part is that I will record this entire process using a hand cam, and I will also show the specs repeatedly during gameplay. Let's start the video. Let's roll. So I have now arrived at my PC screen, and first of all, let me show you the specs of my PC. Then, during the gameplay, I will also show you the system specs so that all your doubts are cleared. Look, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 GHz processor. Talking about the graphics card, my PC has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card. So let's move on to the installation process. You will find the link to download emulator on my website. And if you don't know how to download the files, I have provided a link to a video in the description. Watch that video once before downloading. Talking about the size, its size is just 900 MB. Simply double click on it to launch. After that, it will ask you for a password, which you can copy from my website, and I will also show it on the screen. As soon as you enter the password, the extraction will start. After extraction is complete, you will see an icon on the desktop. Simply double click on it to launch. As soon as you launch the emulator, a tool will also launch simultaneously, which you can use to change the emulator's theme as well as fix any lag issues. As you can see, the emulator has been successfully installed and is working perfectly. If you navigate to the menu, you will find that the latest update of Free Fire is pre-installed, which means you don't need to manually install Free Fire. Now let's adjust the settings. To do this, click on this button and then go to the Advanced tab. Here, you need to choose the custom resolution and select the value of 800 by 600. After that, allocate 700 MB of RAM and select one CPU core. If you experience any lag, you can increase these values. After that, you need to save the settings and restart the emulator once. After the restart, navigate to the mobile settings and go to the app section. Here, Select Free Fire and clear the data once. All right, friends, I have configured the emulator according to the specifications of a low-end PC, and now I will record the gameplay using a hand cam. So before launching the emulator, let me show you the system specs again. Take a look at the system, and now let's launch the emulator. As you can see, I didn't encounter the download failed retry error, and if by chance you face any error, game stuck, or encounter a corrupt file error, just clear the data once or twice, and your problem will be solved. So friends, we've arrived at the login screen. You can choose to log in via Facebook or Google, but for now, I'll select the guest option. I'm in the lobby now, and I'm not experiencing any lag of any kind that we usually encounter in other emulators. Let's play a match for the performance test. As you can see, the game is working perfectly fine and I'm not experiencing any lag at all. Speaking of key mapping, this emulator provides perfect key mapping options, allowing you to set it up according to your preferences. And as I promised earlier, here are the specs during gameplay. Friends, this video was quite special for me because before today, I had never played Free Fire with such smooth FPS. I hope you also enjoyed the video. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for a low-end Android OS for your 1GB RAM PC, click on the video on the left, and I'll see you there. Bye.